Hello! My name is Navigator, and in today's video we're going to be doing a little bit of kind of speculation and theories uh, about what the next Once in a Blue Moon update is going to be for Fallout 76. So, uh, I originally made a video about this, uh, I want to say like a half an hour ago, and then I went to the bathroom and I was looking into, into it a little bit more, and I kind of came up with a couple more things I want to talk about. So, just to kind of give you guys an overview, I have all this different kind of bits of information that I kind of want to bring together, and hopefully uh, maybe... Uh, give you guys some ideas, maybe some theories on what the next update might be. So, the first thing I want to talk about is going to be uh, Homer Saperstein. So, uh, there is going to be some more visual movement going on. Just give me, a, give me a second here while I go over my little ideas and everything. So, the, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, so Homer Saperstein is uh, a character that was introduced with the Invaders from Beyond update, and uh, he was kind of like this good alien who was trying to, like, help you out against the Zetans, and uh, it was pretty obvious that he was an alien. I mean, the kind of, well, actually, I have it in my notes here, so let me get the facts down and all that, but uh, when he comes into the game, he's kind of like, oh, hello, I am Homer. I'm here to, you know, help you from the aliens, blah, 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 and it kind of seems like he is an alien. I mean, the name Homer Saperstein is obviously derivative of uh, Homo sapiens, which is the Latin uh, scientific term, whatever it is, for the human species. But a couple other things I want to talk about regarding him uh, include that he wants to defend Earth from the alien invaders, and I find that to be really interesting because, I mean, if he's an alien, if he's a Zayton, why would he want to do that? Uh, he does claim that he has an interest and he loves to study the galaxy in space, and that is his life's goal, and uh, that's kind of interesting as well, and it's just kind of, it's very uh, parallel, or... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? It's just very different than the Zayton's motives, it seems like. So, if he is an alien, he's got to be some kind of alien from, like, a different, uh, I mean, universe or galaxy, something like that. But he just seems like he is a little bit more intelligent and a lot different than the guys that we see, you know, with little green heads, stuff like that, in the daily app. So, although Homer is some kind of alien, it is unlikely that he is a Zayton due to his intelligence, appearance, empathetic nature, and most importantly, the fact that he only has a rudimentary grasp on the Zayton language. So... Some people uh, say, you know, he is a Zayton, whatever, but he doesn't have the best grasp on the language. He's kind of doing his best to, like, translate, stuff like that. So he's got to be extraterrestrial, but not a Zayton. It kind of just baffles me. And speaking of extraterrestrial, with the Mutation Invasions update, Homer was kind of re-added to the game, and he would kind of, like, you know... Uh, like, take over and kind of infiltrate daily ops. Not in a malicious way, but kind of in a way where he's like, oh, well, you know, they'll never find out. But anyways, what I'm trying to say here is that in the daily ops, he mentions that he is going to create this thing called the Extraterrestrial Defense Force. And basically what that is, is uh, I don't really know. It's just kind of him and he says, like, there's, like, this assistant that he has that are, you know, working to make sure that the Zetans can't, uh, well, I guess for the, the terms of daily ops, can't infiltrate communications and stuff like that. But I think that there is a bigger picture here, and it's seems like he was trying to set that up when he was originally added to the game with trying to help uh, Earth and the Vault Dwellers and all of us players defend against this kind of alien threat. So, that's pretty much it regarding uh, Homer. There's a couple things here and there. Uh, I'm going to talk about his assistant again in a little bit. Uh, the thing I want to talk about next very briefly is going to be the Smiling Man. So, here, I'll give you some variety here. Uh, the Smiling Man is going to be, um, well, he is a new cryptid that was added recently with the, uh, the update, and he's just really creepy and there's all this mystery around him it's he kind of like he when he disappears he goes in this like mothman plume but it seems like he's an alien and the smiling man in real life is uh, like he's like a real cryptid so um when I looked that up, it, it seems like every encounter that he has had in real life, uh, people have kind of uh, classified him as extraterrestrial or some kind of alien, something like that. And it's just really interesting to think about that because in the game, it's just hard to figure out what he really is. And he says that, you know, he's been here before and he's coming back, whatever. Um, and that kind of, I guess, might be an allusion to the once in a blue moon kind of update thing. But again, I am really not too sure. So um, a couple other things I want to say is that in his dialogue, yeah, a blue moon, he mentions a blue moon, stuff like that, so he's got to be somehow involved in the next update, I mean, it must be like that, uh, I mean, blue moon, he says in his dialogue, it's got to be the same thing, um, and, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, but he, it's just, it's interesting, it seems like the Zetans are this kind of set in stone alien group that we've had since Fallout 3, and they've been in 4, and this game as well, and it would be really interesting to see if there's some kind of other, either extraterrestrial or supernatural, some kind of force like that, that would be going head to head against them, so so, that's all the dialogue I want to talk about. What I want to talk about now is going to be the Guidestones right here in front of me. So, these Guidestones have been in the game for quite a while. I mean, I'm pretty sure since the 
the beginning of the game. They've been in here. And I was doing some research, and it seems like people have never found out what these actually mean. And I was sitting here, um, literally for ten minutes. Whoa, whoa. Scared the crap out of me. Oh, hey, Kirito. Um, so... What was I going to say? So I've been standing here looking around and kind of trying to decipher this a little bit, and I can't. I have no idea. I mean, you look at this stuff, and that's almost like very clear-cut, you know, the circles and the lines and everything. It looks like a labyrinth. And then you have something like this, where it's just like these like weird, crazy lines. So some people could say it's a map, but then you look at some of the other stuff on here, and it's just really, really, really confusing. So I want to talk about a theory that I saw uh, online somewhere, and that is going to be uh, that the aliens and the guys zones have somewhat of a uh, kind of like, you know, uh, connection. Now, I forget the name, but one of the investigators, I believe it's uh, Shelby O'Rourke, I think, or someone like that, was actually abducted by aliens. So what we're going to do now is go over to the, uh, where is the investigator's cabin? Where the heck is it? Hunter Shack, that's not what I'm looking for. Where is the investigator's cabin? Am I really messing up on this? Okay, well, what, what I'm trying to say here is when you go to the investigator's cabin, there is an entry for the guide stones that you cannot access. Um, I'll try to get there later, hopefully, but you cannot access it, and it's just really weird. There's nothing in the game about the guide stones. There's no information. People have tried to decipher it, and it just really just doesn't go anywhere, and I really, truly wonder if this is somehow going to be involved in the next update, uh, <laughs> considering that there are the Shelby O'Rourke and those kind of people and the Cryptid Hunters were kind of interested in stuff like this, and uh, there's a theory that Shelby O'Rourke, you know, could be, um, I mean, could possibly be the Homer's assistant because um, I was actually talking to one of my friends. I believe it was Mad Lad. I think it was Mad Lad saying that. Or I wonder who it was. Maybe maybe Jaeger or something saying that uh, the assistant was kind of had like a woman voice. And the emissary, if you guys remember, the emissary was kind of this like the alien dude that appeared when Homer kind of came. It seems that he's talking to a woman. So there's kind of this theory out there that Shelby O'Rourke is like the assistant, or whatever. But Honestly, guys, I'm going to stop rambling here because I think that I've kind of been going on like a madman for too long here. But the things that I want you guys to remember is this. Obviously, the guide stones in front of you, they could come back into play. Maybe we can finally figure out what the meaning behind these things is. Uh, second is going to be the smiling man along with Homer Saperstein. In my opinion... I really feel like those guys are going to go at it. They're going to go right against each other. They seem like complete polar opposites. I mean, Homer, uh, they're, they're both like, you know, not human, but Homer is very friendly. He's pretty endearing. He obviously has care for a species that isn't even his own. Whereas the smiling man is a little bit more ominous and kind of creepy and probably a little bit more malicious. But again, the really important thing I want you guys to remember is that there is is something big coming to the game with this Once in a Blue Moon update. And what I mean by big is story-wise. I really, truly feel like this is going to be a new kind of turn regarding the Fallout series. I mean, throughout the series, we've seen some crazy stuff. We've seen, you know, a lot of supernatural stuff. Obviously, we've seen Aliens. We've seen H.P. Uh, Lovecraft stuff. I mean, like Dunwich Boars, the, uh, well, I forget what it was in New Vegas, Dunwich, I don't know, business company, whatever the heck that building was. But there's always these kind Kind of like either pop culture or kind of like folklore elements that have been in the game. You guys know what I mean by that. And uh, it's, oh, at least for 76, it's always kind of been this like cryptid theme. So get ready, guys, because I really truly think that the, the cryptid kind of element to this game is going to be coming back in full force with this Once in a Blue Moon update. So finally, I really want to say I know that I was all over the place in this video, but I don't know what the next update is going to be. There has been no information about it. Nobody truly knows. This is the best I can do. And really stuff like this is what keeps me going in this game. Kind of just, you know, finding stuff to think about that keeps me coming back to play or to come and look at these guide stones for half an hour, which I just did to try to figure out what they are. But I don't know, folks. I'm going to leave it at that today. Hopefully you guys have a good weekend. I just got the Hunter's Lodge on the scoreboard, so I'm looking to uh, complete that hopefully soon and I'll give you guys a nice camp tour on that but for now that is going to be it uh, thanks for Kirito for stopping by uh, my name is Navigator Oh, actually, wait. Before I end, I want to say, if you guys have any theories, any ideas, if I was wrong on something, please let me know in the comments below. The entire reason for me making this video... Sorry, I'm talking too fast. The entire reason for me making this video is so that we can have a discussion as a community about what is coming next in the game. Alright, folks. My name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.